What's good everybody, it's your boy Abdullah coming at you with another video for the channel and I wasn't planning to make this video until like the news broke out. So basically today I was walking to my class in the morning and I got a notification saying that we finally decided to retire Sean Taylor's jersey and it would be on Sunday against the Chiefs and this Sunday coming up which is in three days, three days, three days. Now, this is just another case of just displaying how of an incomp how an in how Dan Schneider is the most incompetent owner in sports, not just in the NFL, the sport sports in general, the sports media in general. Everyone knows how terrible this man is as the owner, but not just as the owner, a human being. Looking back at it, just look at it from the the, the more broad perspective. John Gruden resigns. The emails are linked to Bruce Allen. Bruce Allen, an, a, a team president for this team a couple of years ago. And you want to, one of the greatest players that ever played for this franchise, you decide to tell the fans three days before, before the game that, hey, we're going to retire his jersey. That is so disrespectful to Sean Taylor. So ignorant. And I just, this man makes it so hard for us fans to root for the football team. Sean Taylor, may God bless his soul. He was a man, incredible off the field and on the field, just spectacular, electric. His playmaking skills were off the charts. He even died on my birthday, November 7th, November, I mean, sorry, November 27th, 2007, he passed away. And I wasn't a, a fan until 2009, but when I looked back at his highlights, I was like, man, this guy was amazing to watch. And knowing that he died on my birthday, just... It just stings, man, like three days before the Chiefs game. And we're playing against the Kansas City Chiefs. And let's face it, guys, we're going to get blown out on Sunday. I'm sorry if you're going to call me a negative fan, but we're getting blown out on Sunday. And you decide to tell us three days before the game that we're retiring Sean Taylor's jersey? Embarrassing? Disgusting? Bobby Mitchell, the great Bobby Mitchell. We knew that we were going to retire his jersey like for a couple of months. And that got fans hyped. Three days? Three days before the game? And I know I know well that this isn't on Jason Wright. Because I'm pretty sure Jason Wright is going to issue an apology to the fans because everyone's shocked by this. But I don't think it was his decision. Of course, it was Dan the man's decision of doing this because obviously he doesn't care. He just cares about his ego and money in his pocket. But Dan Schneider, man, this man needs to sell this team. I've been saying it for the past... I don't know how many years I've been as a fan. Every every fan knows it. For the past two years of him and his tenure, just embarrassing the amount of quarterbacks that we've watched, the Kirk Cousins debacle, the Dwayne Haskins debacle, the sexual harassments, the the topless cheerleader pic, cheerleader pictures. The list goes on and on for this man. This guy is a clown. He is a joke. I've had all my Dan Schneider rants before, but this Sean Taylor news just tops it off. In, it's unbelievable, unbelievable. And they're, they're giving out like 10,000 towels. This is just another way to get fans in the seats. A report came out this week that Washington has the lowest fan attendance rates. And they're thinking that fans are going to come now that Sean Taylor is, is going to get his ready to retire, which probably will, but probably will happen. But Dan Schneider, I, I just can't express enough how bad I want this man to sell this team. The day that if he decides to sell this team, I will literally, I will have a, I will literally record a video of me dancing for an hour and just post it on the channel because this man, it, it, it just blows my mind. Paying female employees to be, to be quiet and not report anything to the Washington Post, just the whole name change, not knowing how to function. This organization is a joke and it's all led by Dan Schneider at the top. Saying happy Thanksgiving when we're introducing our new coach. Like, what is that? This man, this billionaire just doesn't know how to function and be a t and be an owner of an NFL team. It's so mind-boggling. And going back to uh, fans, FedEx Field is the worst stadium in, probably in sports too, not just in the NFL. It's a dumpster fire. Oh my goodness. Remember in week one, the leaking coming onto this, the, the, where the fans were sitting. It's just the grass is terrible. The amount of injuries we've had there, piling all that up. FedEx Field is 
joke. I don't know why I'm a fan of this team. I love it. I love them, but Dan Schneider makes it really hard. But disrespecting the great Sean Taylor, arguably one of the greatest players to ever played for this team. And I, 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 I don't know what to say. What, what, what else can I expect from this organization? So embarrassing. And I always keep saying it. Dan Schneider, please sell this team. Please. Um, that's pretty much all I have to say. The, uh, let, 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 I'm going to say, I'm going to say a list. Rex Grossman, John Beck. We thought it was going to be RG3. We thought it was. Then, of course, that didn't go so well. Kirk Cousins, Alex Smith, Mark Sanchez, Josh Johnson, Dwayne Haskins, Colt McCoy, and now Taylor Heineke, which is, he's looking promising. But as, as long as I've been a fan for this team, we just haven't had a quarterback. Giants fans knew when Eli Manning was going to have his jersey retire. The Eagles knew, the Eagles fans knew when Brian Dawkins was getting his jersey retired. But Washington fans know three days before a game, not even before the season, that Sean Taylor's jersey is getting retired? It's it's just... Uh, I'm sorry about the rant, guys. This man, Dan Schneider, is just in my head rent-free. One of the most despicable human beings on this planet Earth. And I'm pretty sure I'm done with this rant. I don't think... I know the culture is changing with Ron Rivera and Jason Wright leading the team, but as long as Dan Schneider is the owner of this team, everyone's going to think of us as a joke. And I don't blame them. I really don't. But yeah, guys, uh, hopefully the ceremony goes well and we don't get blown out by 40. But we'll see. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe for more DMV Sports content. And yeah, Dan, sell the team. Please. Please. All right, guys. Peace.